season six. Hopefully, guys enjoyed the first four episodes. Really, really interesting. The wild hunt is here. They are not messing about. They've pretty much taken every single person that was at the party when they went to take Gwen. You know, uh, Corey managed to touch one of the ghost riders. He become visible to everybody there at the party. And like Scott said, when he did return after speaking to Noah's dad, which obviously he didn't want him to, he told him not to go there and he went anyway which we got some interesting information from him in that conversation. But going back to, obviously, the Ghost Rider, everybody seeing him, they had a massive scrap. They managed to actually stop him attacking Gwen on that day. Perry's coming, he shot him a few times, they come face to face, and then he disappeared. Mason said that it's the Hellhound, you know. It's his form that they're scared of. They're scared of Jordan, which is really, really interesting. And uh, it didn't stop them from coming back, though. You know, last episode, they tried to secure every single person that was at the party. They grabbed everybody, they put them in the bunker, uh, you know, Chris was down there, Malie was down there, he was trying to protect them. Uh, a couple of them they didn't manage to get, and he was playing the lacrosse game. So, obviously, Scott and Liam, uh, they went over there, he was trying to protect them on the field. Now, what's interesting is somebody inside of the bunker decided that he didn't want to be there and he decided to run off. Now, by doing this, he managed to escape and obviously break the seal. And who was there straight away? That's right, the Ghost Riders. He managed to take him, disappeared, boom, broke the seal. They've come down and got every single person inside of the bunker. Now, luckily for obviously Malia and Chris, they stayed alive, but obviously Chris is injured. He's been taken to hospital. It looks like Malia, uh, not Malia, Melissa and Chris are getting into a little relationship, mate. You know, she was welcome concern from him he was on the bed he was like holding his hand he was rubbing his fingers they're well cute i'm all for that relationship another relationship that i'm interested in is like i said going back to noah after obviously spoken to his dad he shouted something about his wife and his son and obviously that is sticking in his head he's gone to scott and he's like it's something that he said you know it's been racking in my brain all day you mentioned style and then i've been having like this kind of dream and have you ever had like some sort of dream where you think it's real or not uh you know i keep having this dream that i'm speaking to my wife and we're saying we're going to have a kid someday and I'm going to call it after her father uh, because he's like a great guy and obviously if I want my kid to grow up I'd want him to be someone as good as him she said that's fine call him whatever you want but we all know that he's always going to be called Styles really interesting now Lydia's been to their house and uh, when she was there she was seeing again another person in the corridor she was hearing voices she started peeling the wallpaper before obviously boom mate Noah's wife come and stopped her what are you doing ruining my house kicked her out now what's interesting is they've gone to the hospital they tried to check medical records uh, looking into obviously Styles' mum and it turns out yeah she has got dementia Melissa was saying look mate you know someone with this dementia being diagnosed 10 years ago should technically have died by now and uh, but there's no record of any pregnancies so they've come to the conclusion that they can't really go after Styles anymore you know they have to focus on the here and the now and the ghost riders that are coming and they're taking everybody took everyone on the football uh, lacrosse field sorry took everybody in the bunker and you know they can't focus all their energy and looking for a Styles which they don't even know is a true and real person very interesting approach can't blame him for thinking that but we know we know that Lydia is so so close to getting that right answer and finding that relic that's going to bring uh, Styles' knowledge back to everybody so it's going to be interesting to see hopefully you guys do enjoy today today's episode if you do please smash the like it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump in to today's episode yo all them must be the people in wherever they've gone oh there he is oh the train that's what lydia can hear it's on time train station which train station exactly train station number 137 did you see me come in no we got here at the same time it's been at least six hours you always travel in your work clothes well interesting i must have been in a rush you know if anyone works here the following stops have been cancelled excuse me do you know what train this is i feel like they're all gonna get hit off the train mm, there they come Oh, it had to be Pocky Peter, mate. Get in there. That is well good. No, I never expected him to come back in the final season. Oh, that has made me one happy chappy, mate. Peter Hale is here in wherever this is, mate. He's been taken by the Ghost Riders. That has put an instant smile on my face. How are you here? 
you mean, how am I here? I'm here. You are here. Get the hell away from me, Styles. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm waiting for my train. Did you not just see that? The hogtie businessman with the magically dissolving ropes? I'm sorry, did anyone just see that? How did you get here? Pretty sure I took a cab. Last time I saw you, you were being locked away in Eichenhaus. Thanks to you. Memory's good. Can you remember how you uh, got out? They discharge you? No, the power went out and I ran like hell. Oh, he's doing this. Viral. Bimbo. <laughs> you would absolutely bolt it, wouldn't you? I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good, actually. I enjoyed it. I've been missing for three months and no one came for me. That's what the Ghost Riders do. Ghost Riders of the Wild Hunt? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Escaped one prison only to land in another one. If this is the Wild Hunt, there is no escape. You and I are doomed to ride the storm forever. Beacon Hills doesn't have a train station. But that doesn't mean that that train station that they're in isn't real. You know, if they're taking people from all different types of locations, then... They're going to put them on the border, aren't they? Because it's going to make them more calmer, so to speak. Like, they go up, they see, oh, yeah, my stop's next. I'll sit down, I'll wait. Kind of like the trance that Peter was in then. But I liked seeing how we got outside of Echo House, to be honest. You know, that was a question that we would be raising later on in the episode if it didn't get raised by these. And they've done it already. So without me even saying anything and, and having a little moan so to speak they've just answered it like mate last time we seen you you was in that cell where have you gone how did you get out i thought that they was gonna say it happened when they done the the, the power outage do you know what i mean when kira and all that but no it seemed like it was a different one or it could be the same one to be honest um but he used that for his advantage and he got out now the interesting thing is he's seen the bolt of lightning flash down and is that how you see the wild hunt do you know what i mean because my question is, why are they choosing the people they are choosing? Is there a bigger meaning towards it? Do you know what I mean? So it will be interesting. So far, they're doing well in explaining stuff. I had loads of questions last season with Theo and the Dread Doctors. And as we played out and got towards the back end, they started answering them all. I was like, you know, uh, with the Dread Doctors, when they died straight away, it was like, why are they, why are they buzzing about that when the Beast has come? Then the next episode, we got told who it was, why he was doing it. And it was like, right, it makes sense. So... They do do a good job in answering everything, but, um, you know, hopefully we don't have to wait until episode 20 to find that out. What are you doing? A little help, please. Okay. It's like a portal. You go in and back out into... That shoulder against the pillar. Don't look. I said don't look. He's watching us. Don't look at him, but he walks straight over. Why are you watching us? Nobody ever tries the doors. Sounds like you have. The ones that I could open, I've tried everything else. You're still here. Go down the tunnel. You didn't see it, did you? I saw it. Then why'd you waste so much time running through the doors? You can't do it, can you? Why is he afraid? Push, Let's, uh... what did you say? Push me. The corpus no. callosum is not only the largest white matter structure in the brain, but also the bridge connecting all parts of the brain to each other. Is there something outside that's more fascinating than the structure of the human mind? Where? I'm sorry, I'll be right back. He's gonna go and ask who uses that car. I'm just gonna check if she's okay. <laughs> you can't throw the sheep. Paperwork says I can. Once <laughs> it's on the hook. Please don't say you're on the hook. Well, I can't now. But there's gotta be something that we can do. Drop fees 150. We're just always paying everyone off, isn't it? $50. And when I say all, I mean all. I Told you, shot hundred. Congratulations, you found another part of the Phantom train station. Do you reckon you can get out when the flash of lightning comes? When it sparks, it come in. You can use it to get, yeah, like that. That's the way out. We jump on the back of the riders as they go through. Excellent grasp of the situation. I say, Peter. Hey, they're coming back. Hey, figure something else out. Hey, look, there's got to be another way out of this place. I've been looking for months. Are you coming or not? Good job they didn't try in it. 
Good job, they didn't try. You know what, right? You got respect it. You got respect the try. You know, that was the best play he's analysed from being there. He says he's been there months. He's looked for every way out of there. The only way that he can see people coming in and out is through, like, this portal. Now, you couldn't see that green light. Now, it'd be interesting if they get Corey here. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If he come, he could turn invisible. He could see it. It seems like when he goes into that trance that you can see all the green and uh, it would be uh, beneficial for him. But I thought that was a good plan. Obviously, if I went through with it, I'd be dead as well. Um, but, you know, he said he's been in there months and everybody else can't remember anything. So, again, I just raise a question that why can some people remember certain things and some people can't? Styles, he's dead. You see his face? He was going to do it anyway. Now we know. Know what? That we're stuck. We are dead and buried. A driver's license, credit card, even my damn wallet back. Meaningless. Keys. My keys. He's gonna throw him. What did you think you were gonna drive us out of here? Lydia, Scott. Well, yeah, someone they're gonna find me. Who would ever come for you? I wonder if when he gets remembered that it opens a portal for him to leave or something. Yo, she's seen Lydia. I'm waiting for a train. I'm going to see my grandchildren. The following stops have been cancelled. Am I the only one that's noticed that Beacon Hills has not been cancelled twice now? Maybe a radio. It's powered somewhere though, isn't it? There's got to be a source of the power. Really think they're going to leave a gadget around that you can use to call your friends? Are they hearing the loud noise? Is it the car that's making it? Just lock the keys inside. Break it. That's pretty good, actually. I actually like how they've just transitioned from using like high frequency sort of thing back in wherever they are. I actually don't even know what that place is called, and it's coming through to the present. You know, it's really interesting. And uh, you know, the person I, you know, the person that ran, jumped on the back of the horse, and then died. Was he one of the lads that? Lydia scene in the hallway, um, do you know, when he was in Styles' house, because the female that was just sat next to him, she definitely, she was the first one, she seen the walk out the back of them, and she's like, can you use the toilet, and she, and she like, she folded her down, she was staring at the wall, and she's like, it's right in front of you, and then the other guy said, mate, it's right in front of you, you can't see it, and then obviously she got caught pulling the, pulling the wallpaper down, so again, really fascinated with what's going on, not going to lie. Take your time. Only thing at stake is any evidence of our existence, soon to be lost. At least you're keeping count. That's twice I've saved your life today. Why did it stop? Doesn't matter. Got a scent? Yeah. I've never been in this street before. Neither have I. Yes, we have. <laughs> we just don't remember it. He's not real. Trust me. I've lost a lot of people in my life. It's a long list, and I don't feel like adding to it. Not if we get him back. It's from 96, and there's no name. But there's an address. Oh, I don't know what to tell oh. you. I haven't seen that Jeep in almost 18 years. Is there any way to trace the history of the Jeep after it was stolen? I mean, there's fingerprints in it. Honey, don't you think you've taken this far enough? Maybe it's a good time to talk to your mom. You okay? I like how she's never giving up, though. No. Yeah. Go back upstairs to that wall. Go on, Lydia. I said it's right in front of her. Whoa. These cameras are sick when you do this. That's pretty sick, that. To be honest, I love that camera, mate. It reminds me of how Jules and Nate done it, you know, when he's in Euphoria and he was texting. Just loved it, mate. I always like it as well, like, when one person's on the other side of the door of a gun and then the other person's on the other side of it and you can see it from both perspectives, it's sick. It's not about how much. They want it out of here, okay? It's not up to me. Don't make me move, you kid. Your truck's broke. <laughs> yes, we're here. There we go, Gwen. She's finally here. Sister, it works. This isn't a train station. This is a way station. It's not yeah. gonna stop. Nobody is safe. You're in here. You can house your friends, your family, everybody you've ever known. Oh, what are them names? What did you see up there with the towns? What did it mean? I just told you, I'm never gonna stop. Going through the portal. No human can, but I'm better than human, remember? You have to find my friends for me, okay? And you have to tell them about me, because they're not going to remember me, so you have to tell them that when I'm here. I survive, I'm going to get as far away from Beacon Hills as I possibly can. Oh, yeah, he's starting. 
It was them. It was them that caused the power outage. I know you're doing this for her. You're risking being incinerated for her. Stop. What? How? Take one out and take the horse. He made it through, he didn't fall off me. Really interesting, where's he gonna end up now? On his own? Yes, that was decent. Did you hear that? I think all of Beacon Hills heard that. Go! In it, go, go, go! Peter saving the day, mate. Who would have thought before we clicked on this episode? It smells like whoever it is, is burning. He might actually die, you know. He might just spit out styles just before he passes. How do you think he got here? There's no tracks, no fire. Peter? Hey, she remembers his name. Who's Peter? My dad. Peter Hale. That is interesting how she remembered him. Oh, yeah. That was sick how they just transitioned into this. He bit me. How could I forget him? He has something. Car keys. Go on, Leah. You can do it as well. Yeah, get in there, mate. Good well, acting this from everyone. What is it? Back down. Don't flood it. Do you even know what that means? <laughs> it does, mate. Because Styles used to say it. Is that Styles connecting it up? Yeah, look at them. They're sat in the car as well, like. Is that you? We can hear you. Oh my god, you know me? It's me. Do you remember the last thing I said to you? You said remember I love you. Decent. What a good episode this, mate. Unexpected. Okay. Just remember this. Kanan, okay? You have to find Kanan. Just find Kanan. What Styles? does that mean? Styles. Yeah, really like this episode. Good ending, mate. Enjoyed it. Peter Hale saved the day. Who would have thought that when we clicked on today's episode? You know, uh, Styles, he has been absent for about three episodes, but boom, mate, we fully made the most of it here. Really, really good radio silence, you know. I actually really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really, really interesting. Like, you know, we've got Gwen there now. Styles said that he remembers her. She plays for the lacrosse team. Didn't go and engage that conversation. We haven't even seen that start yet. Do you know what I mean? But they've, uh, he's tried to go through some doors, didn't work. Uh, one of the lads tried to jump on to the Ghost Riders. He evaporated, incinerated, mate, he died. But Peter done it. He's obviously come back to the present, but he's burning on the other side, burning back in Beacon Hills. But we know that over time, his body will heal, he'll regen, and he'll be, he'll be okay. Uh, it's good that, obviously... Malia and uh, Scott went over, they remembered him, he could speak to them kind of like telepathically which was decent and he's brought the keys back so uh, it's a good little redemption art for uh, for Peter, you know, last time we seen him he's trying to kill Scott, he's in Icon House, he's come here, he's saving the day, he's, you know, uh, giving information on Styles. really, really good, you know, Lydia again, great acting, really like Lydia, what a good character, I'm really interested with, obviously, um, with Styles' mum, she said that She's not had this Jeep for like 18 years or something. Um, she is definitely got to be in it or something. Do you know what I mean? I imagine if she was taken by the Ghost Riders. No, she couldn't have been because I remember who she is. That bit is getting me ticking constantly. It's getting me ticking. But it's good that we finished the episode with Styles making some sort of contact. Now they've got to find Kanan. That's what they said it was called. Find Kanan. What is it? Is it a place? Is it a person? Who knows, me? But... Can't wait to find out. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Styles is back, baby. And obviously, the pack are now remembering him. Really, really enjoyed it. It's really good. We didn't see anything about Chris. Obviously, his injuries last episode and obviously in the Melissa storyline. But we did get heavily, heavily, you know, um, focused on Styles uh, here. I don't even know where you would call it. I'm just going to call it the other side. It's like the other side of his house wall, mate. Literally, you know, Lydia, she's pulled the wallpaper. She's been very close. I wonder how she's seen two people how have they got from one side to the other for her to witness them do you know what i mean very fascinating i wonder how that's happened you know the guy who obviously jumped on the uh jumped on the ghost riders and died he thought that was the only way now i kind of thought he might have been one of the guys that she's seen but i'm assuming not because obviously he wouldn't have done that 
So it seems like the woman that Styles was speaking to when he was sat on the bench and she said that she's waiting to go and see her family, you know, she must know a way. And um, I'm interested to find out. But obviously, he's gone. He's got this speaker going. He's obviously made contact with Scott and uh, Scott and Lydia. They remember him. Um, hopefully, now they're remembered, more of his possessions, more of his ID, everything that was erased can start coming back into the present. You know, we've seen it with a guy with the ID card. Obviously, when he was remembered, it shown again. Didn't really see Lee Hayden in this episode, but it's okay because we had our Styles back, and obviously he's one of the best characters of the season. And obviously one of my favourite characters as well is Peter. Really enjoyed seeing him. Whether this is the only cameo that he does, I thought he was uh, he was really good. You know, as soon as he come in, he put a smile on my face, and then he ended up doing a great thing. Um, obviously escaping, but obviously bringing the keys back as well. So it just helped all around. Good episode, mate. It's good to see him back. It's really nice, and hopefully we get a few more of these uh, cameos and appearances from characters that we do love obviously that have got us massively invested into this show going into obviously the first six seasons so i really enjoyed today's episode can't wait to see styles get back into the present now and how everybody else does you know uh he said they got to find canaan we're trying to obviously try to figure out if it's a person if it's a place is it a station who knows and um you know what um what Pete was saying is it's not a train station to leave. It's kind of like a pit stop, you know. On the list, it's Beacon Hills on time. That means that they're riding the storm into Beacon Hills. They're picking up everybody, dropping them off here into wherever they are, and then boom, next stop is the next destination. And maybe when they get to Canaan, that is when they get a chance to come in and obviously um obviously get him now again it's really interesting Kanan was further down on the board but whether it was because of the numbers i think like beacon hills was number four Kanan might be number five it was all in like random orders so that might be where he's saying Kanan, you know find Kanan. that's next and um, it's going to be exciting that's the only bit of information they've got a name but you know what the pack can do when they put their mind together and it's going to be interesting to see obviously if liam and hayden and mason remember who styles is and now that obviously they know that he is stuck and they can make some sort of contact whether they're going to still do that next episode or whether he's just going to you know leave it and pretend that he doesn't know what's going on so that when the ghost riders do come in it don't raise suspicious that people are on the other side working to bring him out so it's going to be really exciting hopefully guys uh, can't wait for the next coming episode so thanks for clicking on today's video hopefully guys did enjoy it if you did please smash the like really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys